I love patterns. So I've come here to the Science Museum to find out more about them and I'm stood in front of a tessellation wall, is that the right name for it? Tessellation, yeah. And this is Kate who works here at the Science Museum. And what exactly is tessellation? Well, tessellation, a big word, is just about using a shape or multiple shapes to make a regular pattern that doesn't have any gaps. Can any shape tessellate? Not any shape. Squares can, rectangles, some triangles, regular hexagons like in a beehive, and some shapes like these. These are irregular shapes. So that's an irregular shape. This one, this is an irregular, irregular shape. shape. That one? Irregular shape. Irregular shape. It tends to be one shape over and over again. Okay, so you couldn't tessellate a square with a diamond? You could, but only if you repeated the square and repeated the diamond. I see. And then you could put another square there, and then another diamond there, another diamond. And that can go on infinitely? Infinitely. So there's no limit to how much you tessellate, the area which you cover? Absolutely not. Impressive, aren't they? Maybe you could try doing something like this, making your own tessellating pattern. Start with something simple, like a square perhaps, and then maybe take inspiration from nature. The leaves on the trees, the hexagons in the honeycomb, that's a tessellating pattern. And then start to morph it, start to make it more complicated and see how you get on.